Hi, uh, my name is Paul Stevens. I'm also from Catalyst, and today I'm talking about payment gateways in Moodle. So you've created a really cool course, and basically you've got the great idea you want to sell it. Or a whole bunch of courses, and you're deciding, yep, yeah, we're going to sell those. So uh, obviously you think they're good enough to, uh, to sell, and the, since they're almost certainly online, um, the obvious way to do that is with an online payment gateway. So with Moodle, there are uh, two obvious directions to go. One is to use effectively an enrollment plugin that takes you off to something like PayPal or Stripe or uh, various other type of payment gateways, or put in place a e-commerce system that um, allows you to do a little bit more. Um, now, the, using a plugin or a Moodle module that does enrolment is a really good way to do that um, because it's quite simple. It's what your Moodle's already doing. Um, it's essentially, uh, basically, it's taking you off to a PayPal, you're paying some money, and if you pay that money, you get into the next course. Um, with an e-commerce system, you might want to be doing some more complicated type of things. And uh, there's some great systems out there that uh, essentially also allow you to do some complicated workflows and discounts and that sort of thing. Um, going the, the, uh, the plug-in route is certainly the easiest way to go first. Um, so if you've got an existing Moodle system, obviously you've already got your enrolments and so on set up. So if you're just adding on a, uh, a simple payments thing for a single course, just go that way. Um, and basically, uh, you know, the user tries to log in, they get this type of screen, go off to PayPal, pay and get in. However, that's only good really for a one-to-one -one type of scenario. Uh, sorry. Uh, it, it has a number of limitations. For instance, you can't really do uh, discounts. So if you're doing, want to sell a whole set of courses, um, you, can't, you need something else to manage that. If you're a global organisation, uh, you can't really manage all the different tax uh, enforcements of different areas. And also, each country seems to have their own type of uh, e-commerce systems, like some areas are happy with PayPal, but if you go to China, you cannot use PayPal. And if you go to Russia, they've got their own ones. Whereas the e-commerce systems uh, uh, basically have all of those uh, often taken care of. And they've also got shopping carts built into them. Uh, so the sort of things that the users are used to seeing with Amazon and uh, eBay and so on, they're already there. I'm not sure if this is... Yep, there we go. So there are two um, open source uh, options that we uh, often use, and one of them's Magento, and the other one's Drupal Commerce. Both these systems are really good systems, um, and uh, depending what you want to do. If you've already got a web page and a Drupal and so on, Drupal Commerce is a, a great way to go. And for instance, here's, here's an example of where we already had a good website with uh, a lot of product and so on listed. We've put Drupal Commerce in there and we've instantly got the shopping cart functionality. We've got the functionality that we can go off to the Moodle API and enrol the students. Uh, we can set up the uh, single sign-on and get people signed in. And you know, it's that sort of look and feel that people are used to and you just get it pretty much in instantly. Yeah. Um, now, Magento is an awesome e-commerce system, and don't mix that with Magneto, which is an evil supervillain from the Marvel <laughs> uh, X-Men comics. Um, one of my colleagues did a good presentation comparing these two uh, a couple of movie routes ago, so Google that if you want to have a look at that. But basically, it gives you that whole shopping front end, and more importantly, behind the scenes, not just the web page that has the shopping stuff, but the workflows you might, might want to do. So maybe you want to sell products, and then you sell um, courses on top of that. Um, I'm sorry, I've thrown in a bit of an old picture there. They've got a much better looking bootstrap one out now. And uh, we've, we've uh, published a little bit of code as well. So basically you install a plugin into the Moodle side, a plugin into the Magento side, uh, and link the courses together. And it's very simple and straightforward. And then the Magento takes care of 
the whole workflow and taxes and invoices and so on. If you're selling stuff, don't forget to make sure people can find it. If you're going individual enrolment plugin, um, use uh, the, the course summary page in, Google, uh, in Moodle. It can be really good to make sure you can find these things on Google and get to it. Make sure it, the courses and the workflow to purchasing the courses are simple because otherwise you'll lose people very easily on the process. People get nervous as soon as they have to spend 20 pounds or 1,000 pounds or whatever it is to get there. And if it feels complex to get to the purchase, uh, they'll, they'll drop off. Um, because your site is probably doing all of the purchasing, even though you're passing stuff off to banks and whatever, make sure you can audit it because the customers will come to you to find uh, what, you know, what has happened if something goes wrong. And sometimes things do go wrong with PayPal and so on. And most importantly, you know, whenever you're setting up e-commerce, it is an integration, so make sure you test it and test it again whenever you do upgrades on either side, either on the e-commerce side or the Moodle side, because uh, things like enrolments can change, course formats can change with your enrolment plugins and so on. Thank you very much.